So, so Lily has a problem with his, her back, back, left hip and leg. And we're going to take a look at it, plus everything else. I'm going to check and I have to get the horse used to just, just the equipment I'm using because uh, they don't know what it is. She's getting a good smell of it. So what we do is we check her, uh, well, I'll check her neck first. Uh, basically, we're looking for, for muscle tightness throughout the, the joints of the neck, and I'll go all the way down the spine, checking everything, the whole uh, thoracic spine, the lumbar spine, and the, and, the, and the pelvis. The horse is, this is a nice, calm horse, so it's always nice to do. Okay, so there's muscle tightness there. So that means that the joint, joints in the vertebrae are, aren't moving properly in this area because of muscle tightness from whatever reason. Uh, uh, overwork or strains or sprains or falls or slips and falls or even uh, interreactions with other animals. Oh, just keep going. Uh, she has one on the left side down here. Okay. Now I'm going to do this at a specific angle so it doesn't hurt the horse. Uh, she has to relax a little bit here. There we go. There we go. That didn't hurt the horse at all. So that quickly moves the, the, the joints and that by, by reflex uh, lengthens out the muscles so the joints move better. There we go. Okay, we'll check the withers here. Boy, she's really uh, tight through here, eh? Okay, in this area of the spine, I have to go down at an angle so I don't hurt her, the main ligament in the neck here. And of course, down here, we check the ribs as well. This part of the lower back, kind of the mid uh, lumbar spine is good. She's good to work with. She's nice and calm. Now, in this area, I'll check the sick iliac joints, both sides. The one on the right here seems to be more of a problem than the left. Okay, here we go. I'm going to adjust the... Now, the horse won't know anything's better for a few days because they're kind of... Uh, this pattern of muscle tightness and looseness is ingrained in the system, so it takes a while for them to just realize it's... She's a little sore there, so I'll do some massage as well. Check the ribs too. Hey, you're a good girl, aren't you? Just like a big game. Okay. Her ribs a little bit out here on this side too. Good. Okay. Also check the general mobility of her legs. Oop, oop, oop. It's okay, honey. That's pretty good. Up we go. Okay, in comparison, this one's a little bit tighter than the other side. Okay, honey. Up we go. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Well, you can actually do some daily massage on the leg. That might help quite a bit. Uh, but I did adjust her back in this area. I'll check her sacrum here too. Yeah. Of course, that can appear anywhere from either side on the pelvis. I'm going to try. And I would say it's a combination of both between between the hip and the leg itself. So if you can do some, some massage or rather than some liniment or whatever on a daily basis, do some do some general muscle work in this area. And periodically, I think I should be out probably at this stage since she just hurt herself probably once or twice a week uh, to try to 
keep these uh, the sick relax as mobile as we can. I'm going to check the, the upper part of the neck, which I always check last, so just so they can get used to you and what you're doing. Ah, yes. That's a girl. Okay. The vertebrae on the left side of the top here is a little bit out, so I'll have to uh, just drop her head a little bit. There we go. Gee, you're a good one, aren't you? I'll, I'll check her jaw, too, because that... Uh, her, her jaw is fine. So that's it. So we'll put her on a treatment plan probably once or twice a week at this point until she starts obviously feeling better and then we'll go from there.